Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang geometric sequence. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang another type of sequence which is geometric sequence. So, meron ako na ng video about arithmetic sequence at arithmetic series. So, kung ninyo pa yung napapanood, isililink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, same concept lang din naman dun sa arithmetic sequence, itong geometric sequence. Yun nga lang, meron silang different definition. So, ano ba ang geometric sequence? So, sabi, a sequence is geometric if each pair of consecutive terms have a common ratio. So, kung sa... Arithmetic sequence, meron silang common difference ng bawat terms. Then, nila naman sa geometric sequence, meron silang common ratio. So, what do we mean by common ratio? So, halimbawa, we have the geometric sequence 7, 14, 28, 56, and so on. Pag sinabing common ratio, pag dinivide natin yung pangalawang term sa first term, anong sagot? So, 14 divided by 2. The ratio is 2, Right? And then, pag divide natin itong third term sa second term, we have 28 divided by 14 is 2 then. As well as, 56 divided by 28 is 2 then. So, yun yung tinatawag natin common ratio. Yung quotient ng second term sa first term, quotient ng third term sa second term, third term to second term, and so on. So, dapat common. Okay? So, kaya geometric sequence to. Next, 1 comma 1 half, comma 1 fourth, comma 1 eighth, and so on. So, ang common ratio bali is 1 half divided by 1 is 1 half. 1 fourth divided by 1 half is 1 half then, right? 1 eighth divided by 1 fourth is 1 half then. So, pwede rin kapag nakuha nyo na yung isang common ratio ng, let's say, second tsaka first, para makuha nyo yung third term, Imumultiply nyo na lang yung second term doon sa common ratio na 1 half. So, kaya ba 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. Then, 1 fourth times 1 half is 1 eighth and so on. Okay? Sa so, pwedeng common ratio nyo is a fraction. Okay? Next, 2 negative 6, 18 negative 54. Okay, so try natin hanapin yung common ratio. Divide natin yung negative 6 by 2, we have negative 3. 18 divided by negative 6 is negative 3 then. Negative 54 divided by 18 is negative 3 then. So, this time negative yung common ratio natin. So, pwede rin yun. Okay? Or, para mahanap nyo yung succeeding term, after nitong negative 54, alam na natin yung common ratio ng negative 3. Multiply na lang natin itong negative 54 by negative 3 para makuha natin yung next term. And so on. Okay? Next! So, just like sa n term ng arithmetic sequence kung saan meron tayong formula, meron din tayong formula for the n term of geometric sequence. So, this time, this is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Where a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n equals the number of terms, and r is the common ratio. Okay, so whenever na given tayo ng first term, let's say a sub 1 is 1, then common ratio, let's say r is 2, and then... Kung pinapahanap tayo ng specific term, let's say the n term will be a sub 5. Pwede nating mahanap yon by using this formula. So, a sub 5 is equal to 1 times, so a sub 1, r, which is 2, then n raised to 1. So, since 5 yung n natin, papalitan natin itong n ng 5. Or 1 times 2 raised to 5 minus 1 or 4, or 1 times 16 or 16. So, ganun mag-plug in ng value sa n term ng ating geometric sequence. So, dapat alam natin yung first term, common ratio, tsaka yung hahanaping term. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung formula for the n term of geometric sequence, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. For the first one, we have, find the 9 term of the sequence, 3, 9, 27, 81, 243. Okay, so again, whenever given tayo ng sequence at hindi natin alam kung anong type yon Pwede natin i-check kung ano ba siya, kung arithmetic ba or geometric. So, since geometric tayo, try natin kung geometric nga ito. Hanapin natin kung may common ratio. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 27 divided by 9 is 3. 81 divided by 27 is 3. 240 divided by 81 is 3. So, therefore, may common ratio. Therefore, this is a geometric sequence. So, pwede natin gamitin yung formula for the n term of geometric sequence. So, ano uli yun? 
a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, yung first term is 3 times, yung common ratio is 3 then then n minus 1. So, ito yung formula natin for this geometric sequence. So, ang pinapahanap is 9 term. So, papalitan natin yung n ng 9. So, we have 3 times 3 raised to n 9 minus 1. So, we have 3 times 3 raised to 9 minus 1 is 8. So, what is 3 times 3 raised to 8 or parang 3 raised to 9, right? So, using calculator, ilan to? 19,683. So, therefore, the 9 term of the sequence is 19,683. Okay? Next, we have find the 7 term of the geometric sequence 10, 2, 2 fifths, 2 over 25, so on. Okay, so this time, sinabi naman agad sa problem na geometric sequence siya, so automatic, may common ratio to. Okay, so therefore, gamitin na agad natin yung n term ng geometric sequence. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, hanapin muna natin yung common ratio. So, 2 divided by 10 is 2 over 10 or 1 fifth. Okay, so therefore, r is 1 fifth. So, yung first term is 10 times r na 1 fifth, then raised to n minus 1. So, ang pinapahanap is yung 7 term. So, palitan natin yung n ng 7. So, a sub 7 is equal to 10 times 1 over 5 raised to 7 minus 1. So, 10 times 1 over 5 raised to 7 minus 1 or 6 is, so, ano yung 10 raised to 1 over 5 raised to 6? Using calculator, it is 2 over 3, 1, 2, 5. So, therefore, the 7th term of the geometric sequence is 2 over 3, 1, 2, 5. Okay? Next, we have, find the first term of a geometric sequence whose 4th and 7th terms are 108 and 2,916 respectively. Okay, so given the yung ating a sub 4 or 4th term ng geometric sequence as 108 and then yung 7th term or a sub 7 as 2916. So, ano raw si first term? So, gawa tayong two equations. So, di ba alam natin na yung a sub n for geometric sequences a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So, dito muna sa a sub 4. So, a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 unknown r unknown and then n natin bali is 4. So, 4 minus 1 or Palitan natin yung value ng a sub 4 na 108. We have 108 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 4 minus 1 is 3. Equation 1. Next, equation 2 sa a sub 7 naman. So, 2916 is equal to a sub 1 unknown pa times r unknown pa din n minus 1. So, this time 7 yung n natin. So, 7 minus 1 or a sub 1 r raised to 6. 2916. So, equation 2. So, pwede natin gawin is, i-divide natin tong equation 2 by equation 1. So, 108 is equal to a sub 1 r raised to 3. Divide, ah. So, pag divide natin yung both sides ng equation, we have, ano yung 2916 divided by 108? 27, right? Equal. So, this time, makakancel natin dito kapag dinivide natin itong a sub 1. And then, law of exponents, same base. Pag nag-divide tayo, ano yung r raised to 6 divided by r cubed? Parang r raised to 6 minus 3 kasi susubtract natin yung exponent. So, therefore, r raised to the third. So, finding the cube root of both sides, asasod natin si r as what? Cube root of 27 is 3. So, therefore, R is 3. Pero ang pinapahanap is yung first term. So, gamitin natin itong equation 1. So, 108 is equal to A sub 1 times, alam natin na yung R is 3 na, right? So, 3 raised to the third. So, A sub 1 is equal to 108 divided by 3 raised to the third or 27. So, ano 108 divided by 27? 4, right? So, therefore, the first term pala of the sequence is 4. Okay. Next, we have the fourth term of a geometric sequence is 1 half and the tenth term is 1 over 1 to 8. Find the fourteenth term. Okay, so parang tulad lang din sa example 3, right? So, given tayo ng fourth term or a sub 4 as 1 half, then yung tenth term or a sub 10 is 1 over 1 to 8. So, gawa muna tayo ng two equations into ano using this given. So, a sub 4 which is 1 half equals a sub 1 unknown times r unknown raised to 
n minus 1. So, n natin is 4, right? So, 4 minus 1 or 3. Equation 1. Same dito sa a sub 10. So, a sub 10 is 1 over 1 to 8 equal to a sub 1 unknown times r unknown. Then, n minus 1. So, 10 natin. So, n natin is 10 this time. So, 10 minus 1 or 9. So, this will be equation 2. So, tulad dun sa ginawa natin sa example 3, divide natin. So, 1 to 8 equals a sub 1 r raised to 9 divided by 1 half is equal to a sub 1 r raised to the third. So, divide natin both sides. So, ano yung 1 over 1 to 8 divided by 1 half? 1 over 64, right? Equal. So, dito sa right side, makakancel uli sa a sub 1. Then, law of exponent uli, same base r. So, r to the 9 divided by r cube is r raised to Subtract yung exponent, 9 minus 3 or r raised to 6, right? Then, hanapin natin yung 6 root ng both sides. So, we have sa right, r na lang, cancel. Ano yung 6 root ng 1 over 64? 1 over 2, right? So, therefore, r is 1 half. Ngayon, hanapin natin si first term using na lang itong first equation. So, 1 half is equal to a sub 1 times r yung nakuha natin 1 half raised to the third. So, divide natin both sets by 1 half raised to the third para masolve si a sub 1. So, a sub 1 is equal to aning 1 half all over 1 half raised to the third. 4, right? So, a sub 1 is 4. So, ngayon, hanapin natin yung general formula for this geometric sequence. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 which is 4 times r which is 1 half raised to n minus 1. So, kahit ano nang value yung hanapin natin dito for n, mahanap na natin. So, pinapahanap is 14, right? So, palitan natin yung n ng 14. So, we have a sub 14 is equal to 4 times 1 half raised to 14 minus 1. So, 4 times 1 half raised to 14 minus 1 or 13. So, ano yung 4 times 1 half raised to 13? Using calculator, it is 1 over 2048. So, therefore, the 14th term of the sequence is 1 over 2048. Okay? Next, we have, find the geometric mean of 2 thirds and 1 and 4 fifths. Okay, so this time, geometric mean. So, matatandaan nyo, doon sa video ka about arithmetic sequence, ay meron tayo tinatawag na arithmetic mean. So, big sabihin, kung meron tayong Tatlong terms, yung pangalawang term yung tinatawag nating arithmetic mean. So, ganun din dito sa geometric mean. So, hanapin natin yung pumagit na dito sa geometric sequence na to. Yung first term is 2 third, tapos yung third term is 1 and 4 fifth. So, meron tayong formula. So, geometric mean is equal to square root of a sub 1 times a sub 3. So, ganun lang. So, square root of ano yung first term? 2 thirds, right? Times Aning third term? 1 and 4 fifths. So, gawin natin improper kasi mix eh. So, 1 times 5 is 5 plus 4 is 9. So, 9 over 5. So, simplify na lang natin to. So, cancel si 3. So, magiging square root of 2 times 3. 6 right over 5. So, rationalize natin. So, square root of 6 over square root of 5 to right. So, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by square root of 5. So, square root of 6 times square root of 5 is square root of 30. Over square root of 5 times square root of 5 is simply 5 na lang. So, therefore, the geometric mean of 2 thirds and 1 and 4 fifths is square root of 30 over 5. Okay? Next, we have insert 5 geometric means between 3 and 139,968. Okay, so kapag ganito, pinapag-insert tayo ng geometric mean, hanapin na lang natin yung common ratio. So, kung isusulat kasi natin to, we have first term 3, then mag insert tayo ng 5, right? Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then itong last term is 139,968. So, parang ito yung a sub 1, then itong huli is pang ilan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, a sub 7. So, para makuha natin yung common ratio, gamitin natin yung formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1, r raised to n minus 1. So, yung a sub n natin, or yung last term is 7, so a sub 7, n natin is 7. a sub 1 is 3, times r raised to n is 7. So, 7 minus 1, or ilan? 6, right? So, r raised to the 6. 
So, palitan na natin itong A sub 7 itong given. Ito. 1, 3, 9, 9, 6, 8. So, divide natin both sides muna by 3. So, cancel. R to the 6 is what? So, ano yung 1, 3, 9, 9, 6, 8 over 3? 4, 6, 6, 5, 6. And then, hanapin natin yung 6 root of both sides. Ano yung 6 root ng 4, 6, 6, 5, 6? So, R is 6. Okay? So, ngayon alam na natin yung common ratio na 6. Multiply na lang natin yung first term ng 6 to find the second term. So, ano yung 3 times 6? 18. Then, para sa third term, multiply natin itong 18 by 6 ulit. Which is 108. Then, for the fourth term, multiply natin itong 108 by 6 ulit. 648. Then, for the fifth term, multiply natin itong 648 by 6 ulit. 3888. Then last, multiply natin itong 3888 by 6 ulit. We have 23328. So therefore, kapag multiply natin itong 23328 by 6, dapat kakalabasan natin is itong 139968, which is tama. Okay? So therefore, the geometric means between 3 and 139968 are 18108648 and 23328. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, geometric sequence. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.